Hi, y'all. I am making a dish for fall. I'm making apple enchiladas. I've made peach enchiladas in the summertime, and now I'm about to make some apple ones. So I've taken four Granny Smith apples, I've peeled them, cut them into fourths, and cut the little center part out. So I've got 16 of these quarter pieces of apple. So now I'm going to take a can of crescent rolls and open them up, and then you'll see what I've done. I've already done some of them. I actually took a crescent roll and rolled it around a piece of apple. So that's got this many done already, and I'm gonna do the rest, and I will do one right now just to show you. Let me get this can open. Ooh. Wow, that popped. I let this get the room temperature, so it was power packed when I opened it just then. Okay, so let me get you down here where you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just gonna roll out this dough. You can see where the seams are. You can just roll it out. Get it up here. A little more sticky when it's room temperature. But and I'm just gonna cut a triangle here and then take one piece of apple and then just roll it from the fat end to the pointed end and then stick it over here in my pan. And I'll just keep doing this until I get all uh, 16 of them done and then I'll get right back with y'all. Okay, the next thing I've done is I've melted two sticks of butter and put one and a half cups of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon in this bowl. So I'm just stirring it up really good. So if you don't buy your butter in sticks, uh, it's, it's one cup of butter is what you would need. So either one cup or two sticks. All right, so you can see this is pretty syrupy looking. And we're going to pour this completely over. All of these little bundles. So it's a pretty sweet dessert, but might not be as sweet with these Granny Smith apples. They're a little bit more tart. But it's still probably gonna be pretty sweet. Don't leave any of it in the bowl. Now the next thing that we're going to do, sounds a little strange, but we're taking a bottle of Mountain Dew. Now that's what the original recipe calls for. If you don't have Mountain Dew, you could use a Sprite or 7-Up, some sort of lemon-lime drink, or I have used uh, just um, like the water off of the peaches where I froze the peaches in a little sugar water. So a little sugar water uh, might work as well. Ooh. But we're gonna use the Mountain Dew this time just because. And so it's not quite a whole, like if you buy the cans of Mountain Dew, it's not a whole can. It's about 10 ounces, eight to 10 ounces. So this is a one cup measure here. So I'm just gonna put this one cup over it and a little bit more. So it looks like I've just drowned it. I know. 
but we're gonna put it in the oven now for um, about, I think it's about 40 minutes that it cooks. It, and it's on 350. So since the, I've got this in a disposable pan that's a little bit flimsy, I'm gonna put a baking sheet under it just to give it some stability. Let me do that. Excuse the noise. I want to make sure that when I go to get it out, it's not going to twist on me. So there we go. That's ready to go straight in the oven. And I will show it to you when I get it out. Hey, y'all. It's ready. I'm about to take it out of the oven now. So let me get my hot pads and bring it out. It sure does smell wonderful in here. wound up cooking 45 minutes. But look at that. Is that beautiful or what? It's still bubbling. It's got some juice in there, but it, as it sits and cools, it'll soak up the rest of that juice. And then uh, it's going to be delicious if I serve it with some vanilla ice cream on top or even, even if we just eat it plain. It's going to be great, y'all. Anyhow, um, Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. That way you won't miss any of my videos going forward. And you can go back and look at all my old ones too. That's the beauty of being on YouTube. You can actually go back and look at all the videos instead of having to wait for them to pop up on your Facebook feed. Anyhow, love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.